it's time for lunch with Matt and Matt. You look, it's really close up. Maybe we should move really close. <laughs> lunch with Matt and Mel. Hello, hello. Lunch with Matt and Mel. Okay, what what are, what are you doing? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. I guess he's not talking and just holding everything in right now. So this is going to be a fun lunch with Matt and Mel, where uh, he just explodes. <sighs> What was, that, what was that about? Uh, when I was a little kid. Uh, so my parents got divorced when I was a little kid. And uh, that was a bummer. Everybody say, aw. Aw. Uh, but it happens. Uh, so, and and they gave me this book called Dinosaur Divorce. And I was like, all right, uh, I'll read the book. Because it was kind of like comic booky, And there were dinosaurs. And they got a divorce. They had a divorce. And there was like a little dinosaur that was, I was supposed to be the little dinosaur in the book and resonate with the little dinosaur and I did and the little dinosaur as on one of the pages looks like this <laughs> okay oh I should continue the story and yes. so the little dinosaur looked like that on one of the pages and I remember that I remember that so vividly seeing that little dinosaur and it talked about that in the midst of all of this discomfort and frustration and everything shifting and blah blah blah, blah that it was likely that you would feel like this picture and that at one point like the picture was him with this big kind of crazy face and it had this steam coming out of his uh little dinosaur ears i guess dinosaurs have ears right here i didn't know who knew it's a reptilian sort of thing maybe i don't know yeah. so he's got steam coming out and like coming out of his nose and i mean it was just crazy and and the whole point was if you hold all of that stuff in that's what's going to happen to you. So for a really long time, I really kind of thought that if you didn't like share your feelings and you didn't vent, like there was a physical possibility that you could explode. <laughs> you know what? I bet people feel like that. Well, I, I mean, feel yeah. I, I bet people feel like the, the pressure in their life seems so great that they are about to explode that 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 weight is just on them and holding them back and holding them down yeah it seems like that is the case and um i i certainly we've experienced a lot of people that have been kind of uh, uh coming into our lives and or our, the ministry and telling us about their lives and the things that are kind of going on with them and, and a lot of it when we get calls sometimes they were and they're just like i just need to vent can i just vent for a minute and then Yes. And then they do. And um, so that's what we are here for um, is to to be that sounding board, that listening ear for you guys to be able to vent. And so, yeah. Can, can I read a psalm yeah. since you've taken all my words? <laughs> From Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessing. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pers pers pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Mm. I love that. Do you want to share? No, of course. So I got this thing that hits me. Can you read that one part again? Yes. It says something about a table. You prepare, uh, you prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. All right. So let me just go through this logically in my head because this seems problematic. So you're saying with this scripture 
that the enemies are surrounding us, right? So like they're they're coming in, and I guess this is almost like war kind of language, or you know that our enemies are like coming in with like you know axes and spears raised, and they're coming in to fight, and they're like bringing all this intensity, and it's coming in, and right in the middle of that, it says that you prepare for me a table to eat in front of my enemies. I gotta tell you, like that is that is so clutch. That is. So- that it, it is so it feels backwards like i feel like what would be the norm would be like i will stand before you with a mighty arm and the shield of the lord and the angels of god will come and take care of this army and they'll but instead it's totally different right what it's saying is that god makes a table and it's a table that ultimately i think would be leading to a meal which means as those enemies come around and all of that stuff starts to happen. What God wants most from us is time and conversation and to share a meal. That's amazing. Yeah, I also mm. think of of when when those enemies are coming towards you, you you are feeling scared, feeling empty, feeling afraid. Um and a table just seems like a place that gives you satisfaction and not just a meal, but a feast is what God provides to fill us up, to nourish us, to, to be with us in that, those times. So how do we live it out? So how do we live it out? When we feel like overwhelmed, when we feel like we're about to explode, we, we go to Christ. Jesus is always there to listen to us. Um, and then, you know, come to the people that are, are here to support you. And we're one of those people. Like, we're here to support you. We may not have all the answers. I got, but, a, I got a phone. I get email. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, but we do have a listening ear and we're willing to take the time for you guys and listen to you and walk with you in this journey of life. So when those enemies come up and maybe they feel like they're coming up today, maybe there's a bunch of things and maybe they're not like enemies, like bad, evil things flying at you, but just a lot of things flying at you in a lot in a lot from a lot of different directions. Maybe just take a moment and have that meal, have that conversation, have that time with God. When all those things start to come up, that's what God does. God prepares that table and says, come, rest in me, speak to me, and I will take care of all those things. I've already fought all those battles, all those things surrounding you. I've already fought them. So just come, rest, and be with me, and let me take care of you. Should we pray? Yes. Good and gracious God, thank you for caring for us. Thank you for being our good shepherd who provides all that we need, especially the feast in front of our enemies. Be with us this week. Show us your presence in those around us and help us to lighten that burden of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And remember, in the midst of all this, as those enemies rise up around you, you are loved, you are loved, you are loved, and you are not alone. Blessings and peace. See you later, everybody. We'll see you next week. Woo-woo. Bye, everybody.